Hello everyone and welcome to Let's Play Gary Grigsby's War in the East with New York Cucumber. In this case we'll be doing the Fall Blau or Operation Blue scenario. <coughs> and as you can see, and these are the weather zones. I don't know why I got those in view, but this game is very, very detailed. So for anyone who wants to learn how to play this game, um, basically what you want to know uh, is uh, well, there's a lot of stuff to this game. You have to read the manual. It's this one thing I always say. Um, and um, well, let's see how uh, how we fare while trying to. I'm scanning my line right now for possible gaps in the enemy's defenses. Um, <coughs> so technically. All these Soviet Union, Union uh, troops on the right side here are relatively weak. And when I say relatively, that means they're not very well um, prepared for our coming, except for some fortifications along the line. Um, but generally speaking, they are not going to last long initially. Um, the, um, the game is heavily abstracted, as you can see. And there's a, uh, a very clear unit marker in the middle of all these little squares. This is, for instance, the marker for a tank. And this is an infantry division or regiment, depending on the size of the unit. But usually it's division sized. Um, and this here is an aircraft or airbase uh, marker. There we go. And there's the HQ units over here. And some special stuff like this, the 29th Motorized Infantry Division of the uh, the, the 20th Panzer Corps, or the 40th Panzer Corps it looks like. Um, as you can see, if I click one unit, I actually get um, the amount of movement for that unit. You can see there here that they, they can move quite far. This is like a unit that can go 41 because it's motorized in movement that's really really freaking far it can pretty much go off the map and still keep moving um, that's on road mode there's also rail mode there we go we can also move units by rail for instance this HQ as I click it uh, it now lights up the whole rail system and we can put it on a train for instance to go over here if I were to click right now it would just go on a train and leave for this area I'm not gonna do that right now because there's no need there's also amphibious transportation, and we've got that down here, way down here at the Black Sea. And there's probably a couple of units we can move by sea, although apparently not right now. But normally, if you would have that, you could do that. And there's amphibious transport mode, which is similar. Um, I'm not quite sure yet what the difference is, but I guess it depends on what's being transported and how. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> um, and then there's air recon modes. Uh, you can send your recon groups out to scout a certain area. For instance, these uh, units over here have these question marks in them. We have no idea what e these units are. None whatsoever. However, b in the interest of time, I'm not going to scout. I don't feel like doing that. This is the unit bomb mode, which is very useful. I can pick a single unit of the enemy and basically say bomb that unit. And it will receive a lot of fire. This is the bomb airfield mode, which is probably what I'll start with. Uh, if, I, um, yeah, if, I, if, if I'm looking at the map, yeah, that's probably what I'm going to be doing first. There are so many, so many air bases here of the Soviets. They have quite a bit. Uh, we do have uh, quite a bit as well, but uh, it's nice to take them out, if you will. And there's bomb city mode, which can be useful. Not right now. There's supply drop air transport modes. We won't be using that. Uh, our transfer mode. I guess that's when you start um, moving units by air. Or supplying units by air, I guess. I don't know. Or maybe transfer. That might be actually transferring uh, entire air units from one place to another. Okay. And there's uh, show battle sites. Now, right now, there we haven't had any fighting yet, so there are no battle sites as of yet for this particular 
situation. All right. Um, now I'll just um, start at the top of the map here, and you can see that there's an SS unit here that's recognizable by the oh, by the um, by the little black thing here in the uh, marker. First SS most motorized brigade. They're motorized. They have these little two dots, so they can go very far, providing we actually have the option to go somewhere. We're being blocked here. <coughs> and they also have the uh, 299th Infantry Division with them. And as you can see, they have they're fairly well stocked. 5,000 men, 11,000 men. Uh, they have ridiculous amounts of. Uh, uh, let's see. Let's. Um, can we? Yeah, there we go. Let's go to the detailed screen. These these numbers are fuel, ammunition, and supplies, and they are well stocked. They are, they have double the supplies they need right now, so that's good. These guys are equally well stocked. Look at the supplies on the on the infantry division there. Holy crap! They they could shoot the the whole red army and still not be done. Now this beautiful detailed screen, I love that about the game. You can see actually what we are carrying. Uh, <coughs> how much experience each unit has I think that's experience at least uh, the readiness uh, the number of units that are ready uh, in this case we have uh, a little armored car and another armored car two of them there we go we have uh, rifle squads 104 now squad is obviously um, a group of people generally 10 men there we go and uh, armed with uh, with rifles, a light machine gun, a hand grenade, um, and a commander with a uh, Schmeisser machine pistol and a rifle grenades, apparently. Right. So there. And uh, we've got a hundred and something of those. Now, this is important to know. I mean, we also have anti-aircraft guns, we have howitzers, we have 37mm anti-tank guns, which were already pretty obsolete by this time in the war. I mean... The attack on Stalingrad was 1942, and the Russians had already deployed their first T-34s, and they simply couldn't be knocked out with these things. So these are, well, for light anti-tank only, really. <coughs> but then again, um, they're not alone. They've got these guys with them. Uh, okay, they have four tanks. We have a four tanks, apparently, do we? Or are those the armored cars? They count it as tanks, I wonder. Mm, that does look to like to be the case. Because otherwise I wouldn't know. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, that's probably because we have the flak gun, which is mounted on a, a half-track, uh, or rather a vehicle. So it is. these are only vehicle markers. Okay, that's good to know. We don't have tanks. I thought we did. Huh. What about these guys? They have similar bits, right? There we are. Okay. Oh, let's turn this off. I want to just see these guys. There we go. So here you see that there are no vehicles, but just infantry, loads of them. So this little unit over here is already like 15, 16,000 men. This little square, one square, guys. Look at this. And we have an entire line going all the way down here with similar units. Now these light blue things are interesting. I think they're Romanian units. Yes, the 1st Romanian Infantry Division. 8,000 men. And also these yellow units are <laughs> the yellow bellies. Well, no, that's, that's, that's a bad thing to say. They're, they're, they're not German, they're Italian. We also have some Italian guys here. That's great. This is a full SS division, looks like. And these, ha these are fully stocked with tanks. Look at that, 75 of them. All right, so the first thing we are going to do uh, is uh, <coughs> hinder the enemy's use of their airfields. And we don't know how much is here, but we're going to scout it while we bomb it. There we go. And you can see the losses. I'm just going to see if I can pause that for a second. We don't know how much we hit or what was there, but, um, well... We're going to do that again. Let's go pause it for a second. Uh, as you can see, we lost one bobber. 
<clears throat> we attacked with a flight of 126 fighters and 54 bombers. We flattened the place. And we only destroyed uh, seven fighters and no, nothing else. There's nothing else there. Well, there's, there were nine MiGs there um, defending. But apparently, we knocked seven of them out. So, um, oop. There we go. Let's do that again. Oh, they've now sent more air units there because they're expecting us. So, we're going to go over here now. There we go. I'm just going to go and and sort of annoy everyone. And look at the losses. They're losing men as well, ground personnel. I'm just going to pause it again. Oh, we hit seven bombers there. Great job, guys. The IL-2s <coughs> defending. Again, a, a wing of 116 air units took f taken from uh, all these air bases here, <coughs> combined over here, and then attacked here. Good job. Okay, there we are. Let's do that over here again. And we hit nine bombers, 56 men, and one artillery piece. Okay, cool. And we've destroyed. Mm, not much. Nine fighters knocked out on the ground. There we go. We'll do this for a while. That didn't do much. Did we lose anything? Just one bomber. Okay. We did not lose anything there. Look at that. 20, f 20 fighters destroyed on the ground. 20 of them. Two fighters, eight bombers, and some men died. Okay. Oops. Oops. Small attack, just 96 bombers. No losses. Oh man, this is looking super. Oh, they got support from that airfield. Look at that. And we lost three bombers over that. And we're doing the same here. There we are. Eight fighters are gone now. Do we have any... Ah, oh, yeah, there we go. I was wondering if we had anything left. Alright, bombers are taking serious damage here. There we are. Attacking more than once increases the risk of losing stuff, but we lost two bombers there. That's pretty bad. There are six bombers destroyed on the ground. Perfect. And this is like a big base, so... Oh man, we lost two bombers there. Nasty. Let's, do, let's try that again, shall we? Now with their support gone, he's knocked out 13 of them. It's a good trade. There we are. Lost two bombers again, but that's okay. Oof, 26 fighters destroyed on the ground. I love it. And another six fighters destroyed on the ground. Just gotta take down all of those airfields there. Ooh, this is a fat one. Okay, we lost two bombers there. Oh. Try that again. Fifteen fighters, there we go. Eighteen fighters, this is a good run. Uh, just attacking that twice, three times. Here we are, five bombers gone, nine bombers gone. Alright, well this is looking alright. Fifteen bombers doing all the work here. Twenty-three bombers now doing all the work here. There we go, took out a couple of fighters. We're gonna go back up. There was only one fighter there, we bombed it. Lols. And there we go, oh, no, no losses there for the enemy. Two fighters destroyed, make threes, there we go. So we're just gonna go up until we run out of air power, really. <coughs> Lost a bomber there. Bombers do get shot down occasionally. Oh man, okay, this is a big wing flying. We've got two bombers on the ground that we take out. Four bombers on the ground taken out. Oh, 
Nope. Nothing, nothing left to do with this anymore. Okay, three bombers taking out on the grounds. Lost one bomber for no reason. Okay, that was bad. Oh, we're starting to lose troops now, so let's take care and not go this far south anymore. Probably. There we go. Two fighters destroyed on the ground. Five bombers destroyed on the ground. But no losses for us. Yet again. Two fighters, one bomber. Okay, that's a good trade, I guess. Not much happening now. No. Nah. Lost our effectiveness. Oh, we destroyed one fighter. Okay. And there goes a bomber without actual benefit. So we're not going to do that again. Uh, I think that's it for that phase. And I suppose we should start do doing some deliberate attacking in this uh, particular pocket. Uh, this corner here. Um, I, th I want to punch through up to these tank units if I can. Uh, now these guys... Are let's see, and what what kind of unit is this? Do we know? Can I right click it? No, we have no idea. At this point, I know that there's two rifle brigade. There's a rifle brigade and rifle division there. How strong are we? We're at fifty-five percent on the one unit and eighty-eight percent on the other. Not ideal, I'd say. We don't want to cross this river, that's a bad thing. Never go across a river. Um, but we could break this one unit. That would be cool, wouldn't it? Let's see. Now, deliberate attack. We could do a quick attack, that means we only attack with this these, this little stack here. I'm not gonna do that. I am not willing to do that. Um, so, let's see, the um, 45th Infantry Division is sort of lame right now. We're not gonna tell them to join in this and then we have these guys and they can join oh we can't we cannot attack with nope there's no way we can attack with these whole stacks that's unfortunate um we're gonna have to push in with uh, with this unit then that's fine Oh, we, we committed our reserves, apparently. And the defend defending forces held, but we did inflict some losses there on the enemy. And let's see if we can do anything. And defensive forces held again, despite ha being helped by our bombers. Maybe. Man. Oh, they're just they're holding out. Okay, well... They are definitely holding out here. This is bad. This is not good. We've suffered losses and um, we are at 75 and 50% of our movement. They are, well, they are, they are well supplied. I don't feel we are going to be in any trouble if we try again. Uh, I wish, though, that I knew more about this unit. We could uh, fall these guys back and um, have them rest a little bit, I suppose. Although we could do an one more attack, see if we can route this unit. Retreat it! Perfect. Wonderful job, guys. Um, good. Then we can start moving units in, uh, such as these guys. They have 30... Eight. Oh, they have. They have an HQ unit. That's the. That's that unit. Okay. Never mind. Thirty-eight tanks. I think is that correct, or are those, are those just? They're naval verifier. Nice. Okay. And motorized flak battalion. Oh, okay. We don't want to mess with that. That's not tanks. They do not have tanks. Okay. Good to know. Uh, I guess we're gonna move these guys into this gap. There we are. Now we know that there's a tank division here. What kind of tank division are we talking? Can we? Can I somehow see? Apparently not. 
I wish I could. There was a way to see this, I'm sure. I, I don't remember. Terms of control, there we go. Mm, levels. Port levels on, off. Yeah, we don't need to do that. Come on, you gotta give me more than this game. Okay, ah, yes, the mouse over. And the mouse over is not giving us any information. <laughs> Damn it. We're still good though. I, I think um, we should be okay. Just con continuing the attack. Force is held. And just pause it for a second. We lost 180 men there. But he lost 225 men there. They still held. And they lost uh, four of their AFVs. And we didn't lose any of them. Which is uh, obviously uh, armored vi fighting vehicles. Um, we did lose some artillery. They lost a lot of artillery. Holy crap. Okay. Odds were pretty much even, looks like. Okay. Alright. Well, maybe we can push through now if we were to do this again. And then they retreated. There we go. We're going to move this or one of these units up, I hope. Um, no, we cannot. No, never mind. It doesn't really matter. We, I want to just clear this area, this 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 area across the bridge, the um, the river here, this corner. See if we can um, work with that. And I guess we should do a deliberate attack with all of these now. Oh, we cannot. Okay, and just these then. They're still in pretty good shape, so defending forces unfortunately held, and we suffered quite a few losses there. 500, almost 600 men for just 80 on the enemy side. We should leave it to the SS, I guess. And they held again. Holy crap. Okay, that's bad. Alright, let's see if we can um, clear around these guys. Can we do a deliberate attack on, on this unit? We cannot. Oh, now we can. There we go. Ha! Huh. That's how that works. And the rifle division actually retreated. Nice. Can we do another one? Deliberate attack on these units. Holy shit. So that's how you do that. Okay, so you you left click on the unit that's to lead the attack. Then shift and hold and then do this. And they held again, but we made them suffer for it at least. Good. Alright, let's see if we can uh, get, get these units to... Uh, oh. Can we get them to commit? Is that even an option? No, these units have no more option to attack. That little marker here says that they're done. So... But maybe not all of them. Yes, these guys are done. These guys are definitely not done. They can still go. Or not. <laughs> Apparently not. Okay. No, that's fine. Uh, I guess we'll do just quick attacks on these fortified units. Are these fortified units? I don't know. Oh, we actually pushed them out. Great. Let's pause it for a second. They lost over 700 men. No vehicles, but they lost a lot of their artillery. And we are we actually got bomber support for do for doing that, so that's cool. Um okay, um Yeah, we can uh, take that position now. And uh, and we will. And we take this position as well, there we go. Um that's actually not what I wanted to do, but okay. Um why do you do this to me, game? Oh, yeah, thank you, Nick, here. 200 tanks, the 11th Panther Division. I like it. Hello. Ready for some nice tank shock game? <laughs> mm. 
There we go. We got them to retreat. I guess we can do the same with these guys. There we go. 1,200 men of the enemy dead for 200 of ours. That's a good trade, I'd say. Alright, let's see. Um, these guys do not need to go. Oh, that's the Gross Deutschland Motorized Division. Okay. Second SS is that, I, if I recall correctly. They have Panzers. Oh my god. So I think I'll go for 24 Panther and have these guys help. There we are. We're pushing them out now. Alright. Cool, man. Uh, let's take this motorized division and have them oh. move over here like this. There we are. So we don't have a weird gap in our line or anything. And I guess. What we could do is have these motorized divisions take down this area. There we go. Bang. The way I like it. Okay. And this unit cannot go anywhere. Oh, it can actually. Can this unit still go anywhere? Uh, they can over here. Can go over here. We can move these guys over here. We can move these guys over here. Finish our line. There we go. Okay. What we should try and do is encircle. So I'm kind of hoping we can do that right now. Oh, oh my! Yes, we need to reinforce this line. Reinforce it. And I don't want these guys to move along, but I do want these guys to help out. And another retreat. Great job by our guys. Okay. Is there any way we can move these guys around? Yes, we can do move the tanks, just the tanks, that's fine. Perfect, we took the town. And I guess we can move over here. Do we have anything else that can move over here? No, no. All these can no longer move. That's kind of a thing. Oh, we took the town here, that's good. Towns are like hubs of, like, um, well, supplies. So that's very important. These guys still have some movement. These guys do not, but these guys do. There we go. What about? Oh, most of these guys do. Okay. I uh, don't want to move that airbase. I actually want to make sure we still hold the airbase. So I'm gonna not move those tanks right now. Can we still move you guys? No, you've used all of your movement. Okay. Um, so I want to sort of keep my line in good supply. Obviously, I don't want this line cut, so I'm going to have to figure out how I'm going to do that. Do I have anything left? Oh, we still have infantry here. That's perfect. Let's move them into that gap. Yeah, they can secure this area. No problemo. And now, uh, technically, at least... You could say, uh, move those tanks. Ooh. Into this gap. I may have just screwed myself over. Do we have anyone who can still move here? No, we do not. Unless, no, no. Well, I guess I could move some of these units, these reserve units out. Might want to do that as a security measure. Um, leave the HQ there. Obviously, not a good idea to move them out here. There we go. That reinforces that line. Move you guys. You can still move. You can move. There we go. That place has been secured for the time being. This is sort of a thin spread area now, but that's okay. Um, yeah, these are just infantry units. There's a tank unit here, but they don't really scare me at the moment. Okay. All right. So uh, let's see what else we can do. 
I would really like to cut into their defenses quite heavily if I can. By taking down. Ooh, my, what's this? Okay. This might be very well fortified. Giving us issues if we don't use our options correctly. These guys are these guys on a river hex? I think they are. That's even worse. That's gonna give us problems eventually. We really can't do much anymore, so I am not quite happy with that. That's terrible. That's bad. It's terrible bad. Okay, we may have to use our Hungarians here. We've got Hungarians. Yes, we do. Don't need that. We need this. We need a damn infantry. Oh, come on. These guys, some of these guys have tanks. Yeah, there we go. These guys have tanks. Wonderful. Time to get into the war, Hungarians. There we go. Tank unit is moving towards our line. As you can see, most of these have zero movement. The second number is the movement thingy. But these guys have, have movement, so that's good. Uh, let's see. Um. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's fine. Do a uh, full attack with these guys. Forces held, unfortunately. Let's see. We lost 500 men on that attack with 49,000 men the attack. But still, you know. Uh, I would like to push through here. Eh, we did it. They routed. Holy crap, they're running. They're over here and they're running away. Cool. Uh, yeah. Can we not move into that square? Why not? How unfair is that? Can you move into that square? You can. Do it. There we go. Simply switch them. Oh, I didn't want to switch them all out. Crap. That's not exactly what I had in mind, but okay. These guys are not going anywhere, so it doesn't really, really matter. Um... Because what we are about to do is pretty nasty. We're about to cut these guys off. So let's see if we can do that. Uh. Okay. Oh, okay. That wasn't exactly what I had in mind. Ooh, the 33rd Motorized Brigade shattered. We killed 1,400 men of 2,000 men out of that unit. And yeah, they, they, they were just like, fuck this shit, we're leaving. Okay, so this is a nice spot for uh, exploiting the gap, it looks like. There we go, we're doing it again. They roused it. Is there anyone who can still move? Both of you could still move. If you were willing and able to move, but you're not... Alright, now we're going to have to take this one down. Otherwise, we are not doing it. Not today. Alright, Ghost Deutschland Division. Time to do your worst. There we go. That unit has been cut off. And we may be able to now set up a, a good uh, attack on this unit. Nope, Hungarians won't communicate with us. Damn you, Hungarians. I wonder if this is some sort of fortress. I don't know. Uh, who has the most men? 12,000, 24,000. And yeah, these guys, definitely. And defending forces held, though. 11,000 versus 12,000. Apparently we were not able to commit everyone. That's okay. Simply uh, scare these guys off. There we go. And um, eh, you know what? That's all cool. 
Let's see if we can do it again. We cannot. How about these guys? These guys have tanks. That what could possibly go wrong? Ah, that didn't do it at all. Did we lose any vehicles? I guess we did. Annoyingly enough, we did. All right, so um, I'm gonna do all the way up to Kharkov and then call it a uh, an episode. Um, like I said, hopefully we'll be able to advance soon enough. We only have a very few units that are actually across a river here. These units are. And these units are. We're gonna do one massive if we can. Yes, perfect. Routed and retreated. So these guys, we only lost 500 men, or about with 30,000 men attacking, and 2,500 men roughly lost their lives on the Soviet side. So those guys had every reason to rout. I would go if I uh, that happened to me. Uh, I am going to move. That's a very small unit, actually. I'm not going to move them. I am going to move one of these units. I guess. Who's best supplied? These units. Not this one, but this one is best supplied. And you're gonna join them. There we go. And obviously we need to have these units. Ah, oh, now we can move in here. Okay, that's nice. Can we now finally move forward? Um, evidently not. Okay, yeah, we'll move in here, it's fine. There we go. So we've got a small infantry division there, 4,000 men, taking that position. We can no longer make a combined attack. Maybe these units can. They can. Units were scouted. Scouted means you actually figured out, without losing too many men, what kind of composure, com composition this unit has. Although we're still not able to see it for some reason. I don't know why. Um, okay, that's a guards division. We want to take that out as quickly as we can. Let's see if we can take care of this unit. And we can. There we are. Now this unit should be able to move. It's not. It's all zone of control problem. What are all these then? Holy crap, that's a lot of them. All right, let's see if we can um, scare this guards unit together with this unit. And they held. Unfortunately, they killed almost a thousand of our men. And they did lose quite a few tanks. Ten of them. And they also lost some of their bombers. Good show, I guess. I guess they were supported by... Uh, Air units still active in that region. All right, one more attack uh, by these guys on this unit. And routed. There's what I like to see. So this unit is running. That's guards, man. That's like the uh, the the Soviet version of uh, elite troops. So good. Now we only have to deal with these, well, peasants. I'd say. See, this is a uh, looks like a reserve unit, is it? Ah, let's bring them up. Why the hell not? We need to reinforce our line. What's how strong are these units? 11,000, 11,000. Not too worried about them. Uh, what if we move one of these units up? Can we? We can use that one. 12. Do not go for the Jaeger, just the, the regular infantry. There we go. And you will move up here. There we go. Reinforce that position. And we'll leave a little gap here for the enemy to fiddle around with. Anyway, um, I think that is it for now. We could do a quick attack with these units, but uh, they're okay in the supply area of things. But we still have a motorized brigade here. Oh my god, we can totally plug the gap with 10,000 men. 10,000, yeah. This is van der Schnitzel time. <coughs> Look at that. We just run over and get over here and plug the gap here. It's perfect. Let's do that. 
I love motorized divisions. Did I notice? Did I? Yeah. These guys are so screwed. Um, they're cut off, basically. Nobody's going to get to them right now. So that's really good news. Um, do we have anyone who can still move there? No, nope, nobody. Okay. And we have nobody to actually secure that headquarters. That is a that is a bit of a thing. Uh, okay, you can still move, but not in the direction that I want you to move. Okay. Alright. Anyway, next time we will continue around Kharkov with these orange units. And uh, try and push the enemy back even further. Um, whilst trying to encircle men like here. That's, that's a good 5,000 men, I think. Anyway, see you all next time. Thank you all for joining me. Bye-bye.